Evening. Giving matters here at WUSA 9. As part of our initiative, we're highlighting organizations and people working to battle food insecurity in our area. And we know that in the district east of the Anacostia River, there are few grocery stores available to the people who live there. This morning, we want to introduce you to a woman who has made it her mission to help people in her community live longer and healthier lives. Culture and art is all along this stretch of Good Hope Road in Southeast DC. But this part of the city is also lacking. I just want everybody to have access. There are few grocery stores in Ward 7 and 8. That's why Amanda Stevenson chose to put her food market right here. You're looking for hibiscus or sorrel or whatever it is. Located inside the Anacostia Art Center, the Fresh Food Factory is a curation of local, healthy, minority-owned products. So I wanted to make sure that they not only had healthy food, but it was locally made and also that it was economically friendly and um, it was ethnically infused. The market also carries specialty items from places like Africa and India. But Amanda's journey with food and health started as a child on a small farm in Virginia. Her father was diagnosed with cancer. Doctors telling him he had just months to live. He changed his diet, he changed his lifestyle, had to exercise, had to do a whole host of things, but he, he lived 18 years beyond his life expectancy. That health and education about food is what she's infusing into her community. It's just not nutrition, it's, you know, wellness in general, it's medicine. Food is a cultural expression, it's an art, it's culinary art. So we're using this as a vehicle to man gaps between different communities, to change people's trajectories in their life, in their quality of life. You know, for this place to be here and it has the things that you need to boost your immunity is a good thing. And by selling local black and brown owned products, she says she's putting that money right back into the community. If all the resources are found somewhere else and people in our communities have to spend somewhere else, that dollar is not circulating in our community. So I wanted to do something about that. And after a rough start during the pandemic, the Fresh Food Factory not only has plans to expand its current location, but they're mm -hmm. actually um, going to open doors to a second location on Kenilworth Avenue next summer. So really uh, incredible effort that Amanda has there. I love yeah. it. Yeah, great story. Yeah. All right. Uh, more is on our website, right, Marcella? Yes. OK, uh, and mark your calendars. This Wednesday, we will be at the Giant Food Store on Livingston Road in Fort Washington, Maryland from 6 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. We're collecting non-perishable food items to benefit United Communities Against Poverty. They're just one of the many organizations helping to bring food to our neighbors in need. And for more information on this group or this week's food drive, just click on the QR code on your screen or scan that code. We'll send you back a link to all the information, including a list of most needed items. And let's all work together to make an impact in our communities. And the turnout so far has yeah. been amazing in oh, all yeah. these drives. Each one keeps on getting better. Yes. So, all righty.